Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, August 16th, National Roller Coaster Day. I'm Francis Lewandowski. Welcome to WCTZ News. The Future Health Professionals Club, HOSA, is a club for students interested in pursuing a medical career. The club offers clinical experience, leadership, and opportunities to participate in medical-related activities. The club is open to all students. Please use the Google Classroom code on screen if you are interested. The first meeting will be in Deanna Angler's room, 6100, next week. Any girls interested in playing basketball this school year should attend the informational meeting on Wednesday during Power Hour A in room 2203. Attending the meeting is not a commitment to play, so please come out if you have any interests or questions. Now to a special message. Pardon the interruption, but I'm Jack Grimison. And I'm Drew Newland. And after a summer of mad content, we are back at you. Oh. I, what? I totally forgot to tell you. Um, all of our mad content that we posted this summer, um, it's all gone. They, oh, our viewers no. did not well, see any of it. Well, let's just pick it up right back here. Yeah, let's Talking do it. about Noah Lyles, one of the most contentious faces of Team USA after this Olympics, where he won the 100 meter gold and came in third in the 200 meter. What do you have to say about him? Grim, I love what Noah Lyles did in the 100 meter. I love what he did for Team USA. I, I think he's a great part of our Olympic team. However, I just can't stand the guy, oh, man. He has such a big mouth and all over social media, he's just yapping. He's over there yapping. He's talking his big mouth. And I just can't stand it. It's just bothering me, man. Well, he backs it up with his victories in the 100 meter and his 200 meter bronze with COVID. Like, oh my God. But seriously, when he's talking this smack that you're saying he does, it's, I love his warm ups and I like it when he talks this smack. I love running and I think sprinting should get a little more of a spotlight, but also, he is not taking it from a dark place. He means he all he wants is for sprinting to be recognized as a larger sport, like basketball, like the NBA, like the NFL, like other sports. Yeah, I, I agree with you a little bit, but I just think he needs to chill down a little bit on the talking, man. It's just you win the 100 meters, but that does not give you the right to just start bashing everyone. All right, well, let's talk a little more about Bronny James, who is the newest Los Angeles – Los Angeles Laker after being selected in the second round of the NBA draft. What do you have to say about him? Grim, I, I love what Bronny James did at Sierra Canyon. I love what he did in high school. I think he looked like a very fast, flashy player. I think that he was going into college, everyone thinking, you know what, he might be a good player. He gets to college, people are calling him a bust. How are you going to go from being called a bust than going straight into the NBA? I think he should have taken another year. That should have been the path for Bronny James. Well, Drew, I don't think you watched the second half of those summer league games. He looked like he really matured, and he might have a spot on this Los Angeles Lakers team as a piece of that larger puzzle. Also, you have to take into consideration that his father is my glorious king, my sunshine, LeBron James, and that has to give him at least 10,000 positive aura points. Uh, Graham, this, you might be right. You might have just taken your first take of all time that might be better than mine. He does have a spot on this Lakers team, but his place is going to be right in the G League, oh, Graham. He has on. no place on the NBA floor. The only way that he's going to be getting on there is if his father, his daddy, LeBron James, gets him on there. Well, that as long as Coach Braun is with the Lakers, I'm fine with it. Braun's my GOAT, Bronny's my future GOAT, and that's all I, I can say. I'm going to have to interrupt you, man. We are getting a call. Athletic director, Coach Riopelle. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, all right. Bad guy. Come on, man. I've is... heard enough of him. Well, oh, I do. I did remember one thing we have to tell you, Wildcats. Mm. If you are a girl interested in sports, remember to vote on the poll at the end of this week that is going to decide whether what sport, what girl sports we offer this year. Mm -hmm. That's all we have for you, Wildcats. Back to you, Hank. Thank you. Tryouts for the Professions Dance Team will take place on Tuesday and Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. in the gym. If you are interested in joining West Shore's academic team, please attend the informational meeting on Tuesday during Power Hour B in the Media Center. Please see Mr. Drake in the Media Center if you have any questions. Starting this year, students will be held accountable for their amount of tardies. Three tardies will result in a warning, four will result in a detention, and five will be a discipline referral. Picture Day will be next Friday in the auditorium during your ELA class. Now for the alma mater.
Thank you for tuning in to today's edition of WCTC News. I'm Francis Lewandowski, and have an amazing day, Wildcats.